Welcome to another episode of Santor's Mix. On this episode, we're giving you more fun facts, this time all about a snake's back end. Thank you to everyone that liked and subscribed. Now cue that intro. As always, we're going to start off by telling you who we're here with. We've got Needle, the Asian vine snake, with us today. He's sticking his tongue out at you because he's a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, he looks like it's the first time ever seeing himself in a reflection or anything. Yeah, he, Look might, at that. Look at that. <laughs> he might be looking at himself in the camera and like, who's that snake? Oh, I don't like that. Or he might be saying, ooh, that is a handsome handsome snake. Ooh. <laughs> awesome. We're gonna start off that snakes have small tails. It's true. So a lot of people think that snakes are pretty much all tail, but they are actually mostly not tail. I think uh, of all of our snakes, Needle has the longest tail. Everything that's beyond my hand there is his tail, so it's a little over a foot long, but yeah. I think a typical snake has a tail that's like six inches long. Yeah. It's, you know, 10% of their body at most. And Sweetie has like an inch long tail. She does. Yeah, the Kenyan sandbow has got a really short tail. Yeah. So, uh, not long tails, short tails. Snakes poop and pee at the same time. Mm -hmm. So they've got uh, poop and pee coming out same time almost every time and a lot of times the pee is actually dehydrated. The snake has sucked all of the moisture out of the urine uh, or the pee and so it has become dry and crumbly so it looks like chalk almost and it can come out in clumps so even though it is pee it is dry and chalky and clumpy. So when a snake poops, you're gonna have little spots of white, but sometimes there is liquid as well. And snake's poop looks fairly similar to our poop. Yeah, like cuddles is basically human. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cuddles are boa constrictor. It looks pretty human-like. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, depending on what your snake is eating, you may find a little bit of bone or feather or something like that in it, but uh, we haven't found any remnants of what our snakes are eating. It is just completely digested and the waste is processed through in a mush. Um, snake poop is smelly. Yes. Mm hmm we uh, get home and we can tell, boom, that somebody has uh, done something. Yeah. Oh, so then uh, we just follow our noses to the culprit. Um, you know, so snakes only eating every couple of weeks. They only poop every couple of weeks. You know, they're not going to poop a couple times a day uh, like we should be doing. Yeah. You know? And a dog. Mm, right, yeah. Dogs poop four or five times a day sometimes. It's all the time. All the time. You don't have to worry about that with a snake. Yeah. You know? And like our small snakes, you don't even really smell it. You'll just see a little bit and you can spot clean it most of the time. Yeah. But with the big snakes, oof, you know it. Yeah, and with the corn snakes. Yeah, what's so special about corn snake poop? They have the strongest smelling poop. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The next one is that they were opening at the base of the snake's tail. Everything comes out there. Right, so when they are uh, getting rid of waste, whether it's digestive matter or urinary tract kind of thing, it's all coming out of that one opening. But then also snake babies. 
It doesn't matter if they're laying eggs or if they're giving live birth. It all comes out of one opening at the start of their tail and it's called a cloaca. Uh, so when the snake is not using it, it's closed over and it's sometimes difficult to see, but it's just opens up and it's, I like it on the bottom and it just opens up and they do whatever business they need to do at the time and then it goes back flat so they can move along. Yeah. The next fact is that some snakes have little spores on either side like all ball pythons they have one at uh, their tail. Right so some species of snakes like ball pythons have a little tiny claw, one on either side of the cloaca. It's super tiny, yes. um, you know, like like the tip of a pencil is about the size of it. Just little doot, doot, one on each side, and uh, kind of cool. They're left over from a long, long time ago when they had legs and shorter legs and shorter legs, and then just a couple a little fingers, if you will, and then it's one little claw is all that's left on some species. Yeah. They don't really um, get caught on anything. I, they're, they may be used a little bit, you know, to do some tickling during mating or something, but it would have to be uh, a good sized snake to be able to, to do that. The last fact is that snakes buzz their tail. Like a rattlesnake shakes its tail to make the rattle sound some like buzzing like a rattlesnake. Yes, so most of our snakes will actually make some noise with their tail if they're uncomfortable or uh, we just witnessed the kraken yeah. when he was eating. He, in anticipation of the rat, was buzzing his tail and, and shaking uh, as a warning sign you know, something was in his enclosure. Um, but uh, Princess, we've heard her do it several yeah. times. Uh, and a few others will just buzz their tails. So yeah, pretty cool. That's gonna do it for this edition of Fun Facts All About Snakes Back Ends. We really appreciate that you joined us. Thank you for learning with us. And we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> All right, so we're looking at the left side. Hi. <laughs> Give me the front of my face.